Here at Tangme, we have a number of cockpits that we open to the public. But what happens if you don't have the cockpit you need? In our case, one for an English Electric Lightning for our simulator. Well, you build one yourself. The foundation, an old RAF Lightning Procedures Trainer, arrived in pieces. A metal framework with wooden side panels, all of which had seen better days. Some clever work by our engineering special projects team soon turned it into the Lightning Cockpit that's been the centrepiece of one of our most popular visitor attractions since 2012. Next up was an SE-5A cockpit, to be used as part of Tangmere's tribute to the Great War exhibition. First step was a visit to the RAF Museum, to take measurements on their SE-5, from which the team made detailed drawings. Construction began in the summer of 2013, with the wooden framework finished by the end of the year. A doped linen covering was added at the beginning of 2014, along with the flight instruments and controls and the completed cockpit was open to the public in March 2014. All well and good, but how could we ensure safe access for some of our less mobile visitors to a cockpit designed for fit young men? Put it on rollers, of course. You can then start the engine, fire the guns, and there's even a fan to give you that wind in the hair effect. Our latest project is to build an exhibition standard Spitfire Mark IX cockpit. After a great deal of research on just what went into the real aircraft, between frames 5 and 13, drawings were made and work began using as many original parts as could be sourced. Where the parts couldn't be found or made by more traditional methods, modern technology in the form of a computer-controlled 3D printer, seen here producing knobs for the fuel selector lever, provided the solution. The first cockpit that the team produced is now part of the Bolt B Academy's Spitfire simulator at nearby Goodwood Aerodrome, but work soon started on a second. When it's finished, this one will definitely be staying here at the Tangmere Military Aviation Museum.